So the Jordan 13 Del Sol released this weekend. It seemed like anybody who wanted to be able to cop that sneaker was able to get it pretty easily. And I knew that that was going to be the case. These are probably still sitting around in some of your local retailers. You know, definitely check your finish lines, your foot lockers, your champs, places like that uh, at the beginning of the week if you have not yet secured yourself a pair and you want to pick it up. Now, I knew that this was going to be easier to cop. There's just no hype for this sneaker. It just wasn't something that a lot of people just definitely had to have in their collection. Now, personally, this would have been so easy for me to cop and justify this purchase to myself because I'm from Pittsburgh. I'm a Steeler fan. I'm a Penguin fan. You know, it matches all my jerseys that I'm ever going to wear if I ever go to a game or, a, you know, a bar or something like that. But, you know, I'm forward thinking. Now, if you look ahead sometimes to what Jordan Brand is going to be dropping, you know, in August, they're going to be dropping the Jordan 1 Yellow Toes. And that sneaker has a lot of hype on it. And uh, I know it's going to be really hard to get. I'm probably going to have to go pay resale to be able to pick up that specific Jordan 1 to get it into my collection. So it's easy for me to pass on this Jordan 13 right here because I'm not the biggest fan of the 13 to begin with. And, you know, when you look at the release calendar and see, you know, the Jordan 1 uh, yellow toes coming out, you know what I mean? You kind of have to plan for that. You can't really cop everything all the time. So, you know, it was really easy for me to literally sleep through the release. You know what I mean? I woke up at like noon <laughs> on release day, you know what I mean? And I didn't have a care in the world. I really wasn't that worried about it. Uh, if you did pick this sneaker up and you're thinking about selling it, yeah, I would sell it right now. I would not hold this sneaker. I don't think the value of it is going to go up tremendously over time or anything like that. Um, you know, the, the time to probably sell this sneaker is yesterday. But, you know, today is, you know, obviously the next best option. So, you know, I wouldn't hold that sneaker at all. Uh, definitely sell it as fast as you can um, because, you know, there's really not going to be no long-term value in it, in my personal opinion. Now, if you copped it for the toe, congratulations on the W. It is a nice looking sneaker. The colorway is pretty nice in my opinion. I would love to have it in my collection. You know what I mean? If somebody bought it for me as a present, I would be eternally grateful to have this sneaker in my collection. But, you know, I saved myself 200 bucks and I'm happy with my decision. But guys, let me know down in the comment section if you were able to secure yourself a pair of the Air Jordan 13 Del Soles. Let me know how you like them. Did you pick them up specifically for the toe? Are you going to wear the sneaker? Or are you trying to flip them for a little bit of profit? Do you think that these are going to go up in value? As always, I would like to thank each and every single one of you for stopping over here at my channel and checking out another one of my videos. I really do appreciate all the love and support. And until next video, peace.